Oh, hey guys. Oh, hi. Wow, hey. What you are you should... doing? <laughs> oh, what are you doing back there? Yeah, what are you doing back oh there? Gosh, you should check out what's actually behind uh, the inventory system here. Behind us is my inventory system and a huge DVD collection that I've been collecting for years. And it's all like 80s and 90s movies, like all my favorites, you know, like those ones that you just uh, need to watch, yeah. you know, once in a while. But you know what? I just really don't have time for that anymore. With all the editing and reselling and listing, sourcing and <laughs> all that fun stuff. Um, you know, how much, how much time do you have during the day to sit down and watch movies now? I never watch movies. I think it's, it, seriously, it's been like a decade. Yeah. Because we're like making our own videos and content and all that fun stuff. So uh, check out this uh, DVD collection, guys. It's uh, it's a good one, and I think it's going to keep me busy listing for uh, quite a while. Let's see. Let's check it out. Yes. And here it is, guys. Check it out. It's actually... Uh, I don't even know. We're going to have to do a count on how many <laughs> movies are there, but... It's all like 80s and 90s, good titles here. Let's check some of this out. So starting off, I uh, got these uh, collections here that are gonna sell pretty well, pretty good. These are all like trilogies and there's all the Friday the 13th, the Nightmare on Elm Street, it's Karate Kids, my favorite movie almost of all time, The Goonies. Um, all these little Blu-ray collections here uh, are gonna sell really well. Um, also, these Blu-rays here, I really love the 80s movies on Blu-ray. I mean, you can't go wrong with that nice crisp picture. Oh my god, how, you know, all of these, uh, like Sling Blade, if you don't like, uh, or ever heard of Twin Peaks? Yes! That is just one of my favorite series ever. You, you enjoy that one too, huh? Yeah, yeah, that was like my generation. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, oh my god, just so many awesome, um, you know, titles here, Groundhog Day. I mean, I love nuts, that. you know, don't tell mom the babysitter's dad. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, Outside Providence, if you haven't seen that. TCU, oh my gosh, one of the funniest movies. Wait, Tommy Boy. Yes. <laughs> I'm Holy gonna live in a van down by the river. <laughs> Chris Farley is the best, oh my gosh. Oh um, no. Ernest goes to camp. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. I must have watched this a thousand times on summer break in like fifth grade. Oh, same here. With the uh, Exeronius. <laughs> Exeronius and the uh, <laughs> the turtle that snaps onto his nose and won't let go. Yep. Yep. Yeah. The snapping turtle. Yeah. How about uh, Revenge of the Nerds? <laughs> we need to watch that again. <laughs> yes. Yes. Bill and Ted's. Um, as we get into... Such a good collection! Oh, thank you, sweetheart. These are all of my 80s Gosh. and 90s favorites. Wow. Like, my stepmother is an alien. How about my demon lover? <laughs> Barbarians. Oh my gosh, classic. It is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> um, it's, it's almost like a John Waters type, uh, you know, humor film. Just hilarious. Absolutely. It's, this is a really hard one to find too, guys. So I'll be selling that for at least 20 bucks. I'm pretty sure that's what I bought it for. So... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of, uh, you know, these 80s and 90s movies on DVD are actually um, a little more harder to find because they were not produced uh, directly on DVD or Blu-ray, you know, back in the day. You know, they were originally... Uh, released on VHS. VHS, yeah, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yeah. So finding these 80s and 90s on DVD are always uh, sometimes worth looking up when you're reselling them. Because just like me, you know, a lot of these I had to um, find on eBay and pay, you know, 10, 15, 20 dollars for. Wow. Because they're um, just not, you know, as uh, mass produced as, say, things like um, over here in the more modern stuff. Um, Zoolander. Yeah, like Zoolander, you know, that was, that was definitely um, produced right onto Blu-ray. So they made millions of them. You know, it's almost not worth uh, 
selling. Oh, Boogie Nights, that's a good one. Yeah, Boogie Nights is a good one. <laughs> Some of the modern ones that are going to bring really good money, but the, you know, Hollywood mass-produced, you know, just movies yeah. in general, yeah. you can pretty much know to just sort of pass up. I'll probably sell these first. Just for these I didn't even watch this. I mean, I bought it and I was like, oh, I'm going to watch this one Halloween. <laughs> series. These were the first things that I listed and they sold really fast. So needless to say, I was excited to get to the rest of the collection. I spent a few nights with big stacks like this, kind of sorting them out. On the right there, I put all the ones that were going to be less than $9 with free shipping. I wanted to make at least $3 profit for my time spent listing these DVDs, which isn't much, and I'll show you exactly how long in just a minute. So on the left there are the ones that were worth at least $9 a piece. The rest of them I put in a couple of lots. One was 1990s movies and the other was 1980s movies. So let me show you just how easy it can be to list the DVD when you already have a template made. So as you can see here, I already have some listings here and I know that I'm going to be making a similar listing to this Blu-ray right here. So that's going to make it really easy. All of the item specifics and all that sort of thing are going to be pretty much the same already. So what you want to do is, of course, you're going to remove all of the other uh, photos from the last listing here. And to make this really easy, I have the camera already hooked into the computer. So all i got to do is take the few pictures one of the front, one of the inside to see if, so the customers can see if there is an insert in there. Just make a quick few pictures here and it's really easy. I'm just going to refresh the camera button here, grab all these, move them right over to where the computer is going to grab them. Now they're off my phone and sitting here ready to open. Just those three. Perfect. Look, the pictures are already done. That is so simple. Once the pictures are on, we're going to go to the UPC bar. And it's so easy to scan this stuff here. Bam, just like that. Now that's going to pre-fill all of the eBay info for you for the most part. Now sometimes we have to go here, now we're going to go and do some research on this DVD or Blu-ray right here. And Masters of the Universe, if you don't remember that one, I recommend checking it out. If you want it on Blu-ray, it looks like it's going to cost you some money even used, which is good for me right now. So it looks like even with bids here, we got $11.75 plus shipping, uh, $9.99 free shipping, $10.99 plus shipping. So I think on average here, we're going to see about $15 at least for this. Now let's see uh, the sell through rate. We got 17 sold. Now let's see how many are available right now. Only four. That is an amazing sell through rate right there. Um, that means this is going to sell really really quick maybe even as soon as I put it on look right here we got uh, declutter that's gonna be probably our biggest competitor out there they always sell you know um, the cheapest always the cheapest now last one 15 of these have sold for declutter for 1557 so I know I can get at least that you know what I'm gonna ask even more now because of seeing that so after we do our research there we know what we can get. Um, you know what, actually the research didn't pull up a good title for me. So you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on this. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this for my title. Makes things really easy. Let's see, um, I don't really need to say used very good. I am going to say excellent though, because it is in like new condition um, I already checked it. Now, if there's a, even the tiniest little scratch or even like piece of dust on there, I'm not gonna say it's like new. So what you can do, um, on Blu-rays, it's really easy to wipe off there. Don't scratch easily. Um, you can even just take a air duster here, blow off any dust, see exactly what that disc looks like. And if it's like new, I'm gonna start using like new because you can get a little bit money, more money for it. So, 
now we got we're gonna fill in all these item specifics um, this is actually can you can actually do this really quickly I um, want just want to make sure you got the right title in there that's for sure okay now all the rest of these specifics should be filled in um, with the UPC and again condition like new disk in very gently used like new condition um, now that's going to assure the customer that when they get it, there shouldn't be any scratch on it at all. Like it was just taken out of the shrink wrap. So again, you're just going to be very gently used, like new condition. And I like to say, you know, the case and the slipcover, the slipcover if it's present, has a little bit of wear. Um, and that can even happen in uh, transit. Now, uh, what are we going to do here? I would say, uh, I'm going to try $16.99. I'm pretty sure it's going to sell. This is such a great movie. Um, people want it on Blu-ray of the for the amazing quality, and usually there's a lot of um, extra special features in there as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, once you have the template made, you know I already have my shipping policy in for every single one here. The package weight. I know um, it's going media mail, so it's not going to be any more than 365 for anybody. And I also like to promote two uh, percent. That's like the minimum. I'll just get it up there a little bit more and that's it guys and right after that let's just click list now I can blow through one of these really really fast uh, without having to explain so uh, let's do that let's do a uh, brain scan this is another really great movie I know I'm gonna be able to get quite a bit for it and I'm pretty dang sure it's like new because I bought this brand new watched it once yes it's looking perfect sell it as new like me like this one so we can just go to create similar listing which makes it just so much faster okay I'm just gonna really blow through this one here guys I'm just removing all of the last photos I'm gonna take three quick photos one two and three photos Add these again this is I think the fastest way to photo drop you just move them right over only those three are highlighted you click open and that's it they're off your phone scan the UPC and this time they give you it pops up where you can just take this title copy it run back up to the top here paste it that's all you need you could put Edward Furlong or something in there uh, if you want to, you know, uh, make sure that people know what movie they're buying. Uh, again, the condition's already the same, so we don't need to change any of that. All they need to do is make sure that people know that they're getting the right movie. We're going to put a price in there, so we'll do a little bit of research on this one. So we've got... Look at that, alright. So, we got uh, used. Used, they're going for $20.99, $22.25. Okay, so that's five available. And how many have sold? Eight have sold. So more than 100% sell through rate. We got $16.99 plus shipping. That's around $20. $20. Uh, it looks like 20. This will be an easy $20 all day long. So I think what we'll do, we'll put it at $19.99 and watch it sell probably tomorrow maybe even today. We already know that all of the other specifics are the same, so all we gotta do is click list. Simple as that, guys. Well, let's just see how long it'll take to actually list these things here. We got eight brand new and sealed DVDs here. We don't have to do anything to describe the condition, they're just brand new, so we should be able to just whip through these as long as we have a template made. Let's, uh, let's just see here. 2.59, we'll start the clock. Let's just wait till three. So these are just really super easy to list. Um, once you, if you have a barcode scanner, of course, that is going to make your job so much easier. Three o'clock, let's do this. So if you can be disciplined, cut those distractions down to a minimum, you can really focus in and get a lot done in a short amount of time. And you can really keep that momentum going by listing like items that day and using the sell similar button on eBay. 14 minutes, so a little bit less than two minutes per DVD. That's not so bad. 
let's see how long it'll take to ship them out. So guys, I had a really great Friday night of sales. I got everything else packaged up. Here's the DVD portions. There's eight of them. So let's see how long that'll take here. We got the clock here. We got that at 829. Uh, let's speed this up. We'll see how long it takes. I don't think I've ever had a DVD out of maybe even, you know, hundreds, maybe even thousands of DVDs that I sent out um, that I just didn't put in a bub bubble mailer. That's it. A bubble mailer? That's it. That's all it really needs, a DVD. What size is this? I'm sorry, baby. Did you tell me? About sure. It? Yeah, this is a six by nine or try to get the six by ten, honestly, or um, because it just gives it a little bit more room. So six by ten bubble mailer is all you need to um, ship DVDs. Also, like ten by thirteen, the next size up, because some of them are gonna be a little bit thicker, maybe like the sets, you know. So you want to either put those in a box, say like the box sets. I'll, I'll throw those in a box because you know collectors are gonna want those um, uh, slip covers really looking nice, you know. So yeah. um, some of them I will put in a box. And, uh, but for the most part, all you need is a 6x10 bubble mailer, get a size up for a little thicker DVD, and uh, you should be good to go. Perfect. Yeah. That was very easy. Alright guys, that's it. Wow. Three or four minutes just to package up uh, eight DVDs. Just takes no time to uh, list and store and ship these things. So, you know, if you can make a few bucks on them, I'd say go for it. And I gotta go to the post office. Catch you guys later. We hope that gave you an idea of, you know, some of the movies that you might want to look for when you're out there sourcing, uh, the, you know, at least the types and, you know, what you might be able to get for them, the genres <laughs> and the, the airs to look for, I guess. Yeah. Um, also, don't forget those, like, really old movies on DVD also can do pretty well. Um, look at those old black and white DVDs as well because you'll, you'll find that those actually sell too. I didn't know that for a while. I just skipped those. Yeah. and started scanning them and it's like oh great hallmark movies all that kind of stuff are really good for resale one of the really nice things about your collection is that you bought some pieces for your collection like it was really mm -hmm. your you know not just everything from the yard sale or whatever mm -hmm. it was a real it's a real legitimate collection so yeah, thanks. Yeah, um, I did seek quite a bit of those out. How long did it take you to put that together? A collection? Um, well, I would say probably about four or five years, you know, just here and there. You know, while I was, a lot of it was from thrifting, though. But I also did make a list, like, I need to see this movie. <laughs> and, you know, some of them, you know, I had to pay up for just because they're hard to find, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's one of the fun things about being a reseller and also one of the most dangerous things is it's easy to pick up new hobbies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> new collect things to collect, right? Mm, yeah, like, yeah. you know, beach towels and, <laughs> and... And handmade blankets, that's me. Oh, yep, right. And like, my daughter. Your, your advice on that. I know, when you, come <laughs> over, when you came over, I think I had an entire pile in the corner of my room. I'll, I love them. Yeah, I remember that, and they were really cute. So, <laughs> yeah, colorful. Nice collection as well. We hope that you can also see how easy it can be to list and store and ship DVDs. So, you know, if you start figuring out which ones are easy to find and it's uh, not as time consuming, it can be really good for you just to grab some uh, some media here and there. Um, so, thank uh, you for sharing your collection with us today. Oh, absolutely! It was really my pleasure. I. I um, I hope uh, most of this collection can go to mm -hmm. other people that are going to enjoy it uh, just as much as I have. So, yeah, congratulations, guys, when you're out there and you find some higher value media and you turn it around and flip it for a profit. <laughs> so, yeah, until next time, guys. Hats off to you. <laughs>
<laughs> Doris. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite bands ever. Yes, one of my favorite movies, License to Drive. This is a hard one to find. They don't actually produce this one on DVD, I don't think. This is sort of like a made-to-order copy that I had to order online. One of my favorite movies ever. <laughs> the cable guy. <laughs> yeah. Rama Jim Carrey. No. I, was a, I was a cable guy for a while there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb and dumber. Oh, oh my gosh. Even stuff like Candyman, those good classic horror. Uh, the Shining, yes. Of course, we gotta add that to the collection. Um, yeah. Oh, son of such a lambs. Fava beans. <laughs> Chianti. <And> Chianti. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Lawnmower Man, the ninth game. Drugstore Cowboy. Uh -huh. Well, I think it was really nice actually to see your collection. Okay. But pick out just, you know, like maybe a few that people should keep their eyes peeled for when they're out. Oh, sure. Okay. Um, here's one. It's called White Boys with a Z. Really funny. Uh, really funny movie. This one's going to be $20, $25 um, if you ever find this one. Is that fairly common? This is not a common movie, no. Okay, um, It's got cool. like Snoop Dogg, Fat Joe. Um, it's, just, it's just, it's really funny. Cool. That's a good one to look out for. Another one that uh, I mentioned, uh, PCU. Mm -hmm. That one's gonna bring a few dollars. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh. Um, basically anything 1980s or back on Blu-ray. On Blu-ray specifically, right? On Blu-ray. Check okay. out all those awesome uh, titles yeah. from the 80s and 90s. Yeah. Um, these are usually pretty good. American Psycho. Oh yeah, American Psycho.